All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back. Good to see you guys. I know it's been a little while since our last video. I was on vacation, so I apologize. But we're back, and today we're actually showing off some cool things, and uh, it's more of tips and tricks with OBS that maybe you guys don't really know about. So we're just going to jump right on in and get to a one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six tips for you. Hope you like tips. That sounds weird but six obs tips now some of these tips you may already know about some of them maybe you don't but stick around and uh, you know check them all out maybe uh i'll teach you something today our first tip is actually something called source transition and you can basically transition something in and out of a scene utilizing any kind of transition you have that could be you know a wipe a fade or something like that so uh you can actually just go ahead and right click on a source and uh, click show transition or hide transition and add your own video transitions or whatever you want in there to show something a little bit more dynamically or hide something more dynamically uh, instead of just clicking on and off. So there you go. Another tip is something called custom browser docs. Now, basically, you could take anything on the Internet that is a, a web browser and just dock it into OBS. It's really simple. So I've done like my chat in the past or my alerts or anything like that. And you can actually do anything you want from a picture to music to YouTube or anything like that and things that are like a browser itself you can actually interact with keep that in mind that if you want to just put google inside of your obs you can so another tip that we have is uh inside of obs you can actually change the way that your orientation of your audio levels are normally it's like side to side right and they're usually pretty long i mean you can scale that however you want but another idea you can do is actually make them vertical and if you just right click in your audio mixer area you can just click on uh, vertical layout and just keep it simple up and down rather than side to side so maybe it's easier for you to look over and see all these vertical lines so the way i have my obs set up right now i have multiple audio tracks but the way i had it scaled inside of my obs made it all very kind of hard to see because it was all going horizontal i switched it over to vertical and i can see all my audio side by side and keep that little window smaller inside of obs so one other kind of cool tip or trick for you guys is you guys doing Zoom, you guys doing uh, meetings, digital meetings and your, your conference calls, all that kind of stuff. You, know, you can take everything that you're doing inside of OBS and just make that a camera inside of that Zoom call. Well, literally, there's a button called Start Virtual Camera. And when you do that, it turns your OBS into a virtual camera. So basically, everything you're doing inside of OBS, whether it be on-screen elements, alerts, all that kind of stuff, your cameras, multiple cameras, you can put that all into Zoom or whatever meetings you have to make your uh, your your camera stand out more than everybody else's. So any kind of plugins or anything that you put inside of your OBS, you can send that right over to Zoom to make your kind of quality look that much better. Now, this next tip is actually something that's been introduced kind of recently, but it, it's big. And I, I just want to reiterate that it's freaking cool that they finally added it because it's not always been there. And uh, once they did add it, it changed the game for me. So this comes down to undoing and redoing. And if you haven't used it, definitely use that. There's been so many times where I miss clicked on something or move something or did something I didn't really want to do and all of a sudden I'm like dang and I had to sit there and move it back or whatever but now you can literally just hit control Z and control shift Z to undo and redo your mistakes or you know whatever you're doing so you don't have to freak out that when you move a little text that you meant to grab something else uh now you can just control Z and undo it back in the day this feature wasn't there so I like when you messed up you had to manually fix it and sometimes it's such a pain. So this last tip is actually huge. And I only found out about it kind of recently. It's always been something that I wanted too. So if you actually right click on your preview monitor, you can actually then go to preview scaling and go to canvas. And when you click on canvas, that turns in your whole canvas into a, a, a window, which you can scroll in and out of, as well as move around. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, it's so you can really fine tune adjustments that you want to do. So if you go ahead and click on your your canvas you can drag it around now it doesn't work right off the bat you actually once you set it into canvas mode then you got to hold the space bar now when you hold the space bar it allows you to click and drag around your your preview monitor as well as you get to scroll in and out of what you're looking at now this can be really good for fine tuning a perfect spot for a, a piece of text or an image or something like that because there's been so many times where I can't really see what I'm doing inside of that small window so it'd be nice to be able to zoom in and now that you can hold space and zoom in you can go in there and actually tweak something perfectly and now you're you're not having to like am i there am i putting this little image right up oh yeah i want it a little bit for oh too far i don't know I, okay and then that red box is around it so you can't always see too but this allows you to go ahead and fix that by 
allowing you to zoom in on your sources and fine tune, move them around, drag them, scale them, all you want to do up close. There's been numerous times where I've wanted to do this. And now that I know this thing, I'm going to be using it all the time. So that's it. That's a quick, easy couple of tips for you guys inside of OBS. And maybe this is something uh, new to you. Maybe it's not. I know some of these really helped me out over the course of my time streaming and OBS is always changing and there's all these little tr tips and tricks that you can learn. So why not teach you some of the basics and the, the stuff that really helps me out uh, in this video? So appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Uh, I'll do another video coming up here about some uh, plugins and whatnot. So get excited. I know you guys like those plugins. All right. I'll catch you guys the next time. Take care. Uh, be kind to each other. All right. I'll see you on the next one. All right. Later.